I do want to get to that mayor's race because all three of the council members caught up in this scandal have endorsed Representative Karen Bass to be the next mayor of LA. Tonight, Bass and her opponent, developer Rick Caruso, are responding to this leaked audio. Bass has released a statement that reads in part, let me be clear about what was on those tapes, appalling anti-black racism. The challenges we face already threaten to tear us apart, and now this hateful and shocking conversation among some of our city's most powerful leaders could divide us even further. All those in the room must be held accountable, and I've spent the day speaking with black and Latino leaders about how to ensure this doesn't divide our city. Her opponent, developer Rick Caruso, also released a statement that reads in part, this entire situation shows that City Hall is fundamentally broken and dysfunctional. In a closed door meeting, leaders at the highest level of city government use racial slurs and hate speech while discussing how to carve up the city to retain their own power. This is a clear example of hypocrisy, racism and crude power politics. Everyone involved in this should be held accountable. So how do the people of Los Angeles feel about these racist comments? What about the African-American community, the target of much of this hate?